Now a News 8 update on the big successes by some of our area's smallest charity organizers. Last month, we brought you the Team Kids kickoff. Students from four schools in Arlington set weekly challenges for the community's benefit. Our Jenny Dorn headed back to the gym and watched them reach their final goal. Jenny? Well, Morris, their month-long challenge wrapped up with a student-run carnival. The kids voted on a charity and rang in money entirely on their own. The gym at Jamestown Elementary School is buzzing with excitement. <laughs> we have the honor to do this without any adults helping. 150 fourth and fifth graders created this carnival. Draw! So those fighting cancer know they care. I have friends that have mothers that have cancer and they're always in the hospital. They're selling 25 cent coupons in hopes of closing in on a cure. So they could have a better life and not stay pumped up in a hospital. 100% of the ticket sales here are being pumped into St. Jude's Research Hospital. It's been feeling good because, well, it's just the kids doing this. Their good deeds don't end here. This school and three others in Arlington. Took on the Team Kids Challenge. It is so exciting to be here. Dedicated a month towards community service. We set, you know, three different weekly challenges, things about like collecting four or five boxes of pet supplies, and we actually collected about 15 boxes. Um, writing letters to our troops and firefighters, we collected over 300 letters. Local first responders volunteer their time as mentors. It allows them to see us um, in a more fun and natural environment instead of being out on the street. Acting as big brothers and big sisters and inspiring the next generation of hometown heroes. It blows your mind away. They did so much work with this on their own, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. And he was also happy to see that Carnival raised more than $1,200 in a matter of hours. Arlington County Schools are the first outside of the state of California to partner with Team Kids. We have more information on the nonprofit on our website, news8.net.